Hey everyone, welcome to Zen Within Me. Today I'm going to be doing a weekly reading for Sagittarius, uh, June 11th to the 16th, Sun Moon Rising 2019. Okay, so if you are new, hi, welcome, and if you are one of my subscribers, welcome back. Okay, so let's get into it. So again, this is going to be for Sagittarius for the 11th to the 16th. What messages does, does the universe have for you, Sagittarius? Sun Moon Rising, 11th to the 16th, 2019. King of Swords. Oh, and the Queen of Swords. Okay. down here working in the middle of my bench but then on camera you can't see when I have the cards here okay queen of wands that's you fire sign Sagittarius the tower seven of wands three of wands and six of wands okay well you got a lot of wands here one two three four okay Oh. Let me lower that. Sorry. Oh, and I look at the time and it's 11 11. Beautiful. I've been seeing that almost every day now. Okay, so Sagittarius, back to your reading. Okay, so we're starting off with the King of Swords. This is an uh, air sign person. Since this is a general reading, there's no gender here, but it really doesn't matter because they came out together anyway. So any way you look at it, you're dealing with two air signs, um, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. And one it's crossing the other. So that's interesting. And the basis of these two air sign people is the Page of Cups. Okay, the Page of Cups is somebody reaching out with um, messages of love. Sometimes uh, pages can be kids up to the age of 17, um, someone that's kind and thoughtful, gentle, brings messages containing news, could be um, of a loving nature. Okay, so let's see, it could be these two air sign people and they communicate with you, Sagittarius, in a very kind and loving nature, and they may be delivering some kind of lovely message to you, okay? In the recent past, we have the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups is someone that's turned away, disappointed, moving on, letting go, So maybe in the recent past, you were disappointed about something that made you, in your own way, turn away. Maybe from these people. Let's see. Your crowning thoughts are the world. 
the world is victory, success, it's completion. Could be a birth, but these are your thoughts. So victory, success, completion. Let's see. It's crowning these people that are your focus. So you may think the world of these people. So maybe where there was an issue in the past that you were disappointed and wanted to just walk away for a little bit. With them reaching out and being kind and loving, you're back to thinking the world of them and everything being successful and like that sense of completion, like feeling whole, like a family, you know? Okay. In the near future, we have the Queen of Wands, which is you, fire sign person, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. So you're focusing on yourself in the near future. Then we have the tower. Okay, so the tower can be an unexpected catastrophe. It could be an end of something. Uh, let's see. False truths collapsing. And this is how you view the situation. So let's see. How you view the situation, the tire, this tower, an unexpected catastrophe. So maybe whatever happened in the past that made you disappointed and turn away for a little bit. is still resonating with you. Even though you guys have made amends, it's still an effect. Or there's gonna be maybe some kind of ending that you're thinking about. Let's see. Your environment or, or how others view the situation is the Seven of Wands, which is someone being defensive. Or viewing you as being defensive. So your environment, it could be defensive, maybe because of this, this tower. It was uh, maybe a really big fight. And if it, something is mentioned of it, it's still everyone gets very defensive about it, even though you've made amends and you guys are in a good place and kind to one another. Okay, in the hopes and fears, we have three of wands, and this is just ongoing progress and success. So your hope is that everything is just going to continue to go smoothly. And the outcome is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is triumph, great news, efforts recognized by others. If it's a work related, it could be a promotion. But your focus here, Sagittarius, really seems to be this air sign couple, which I think is amazing because I've never seen them come up like this. I want to say maybe your parents or, or two prominent figures in your life. That I mean, because these people, they came out together one on top of the other. They're obviously very important to you. That they're the focus of your reading. Okay, so let's see. What about you in the near future? Okay, you're going to be focusing on yourself. What about you? Let me please clarify that Queen of Wands in the near future. Okay. Okay, 
right, so we have so far the Two of Cups and the Page of Swords. Okay, I'd like one more clarification before I say anything. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Okay, so we have two pages. Okay. So the Two of Cups is a couple. So if you are in a relationship with someone, Sagittarius, this could be you're focusing on yourself with this other person. You're focusing on your relationship on this couple. Okay, that's one scenario. Okay, and then the next card is the Page of Swords. Okay, the Page of Swords could be somebody gossiping or spying. And pages are also like uh, children. So it could be somebody behaving badly. Let's see. And the third clarifier is the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is uh, usually news or messages of financial or uh, academic nature. It could be somebody reaching out with an offer, maybe um, for a job, for money. Okay. This is not normally somebody that behaves like a party animal, so this is like a calmer page. Okay. Okay, so if this is your relationship with someone as the Two of Cups. And then you have somebody here that's maybe spying or gossiping on about your relationship. They could be spying on your relationship or gossiping about your relationship. And it could be could be maybe somebody from work because this is someone like I said, news of finance or academics. Let me get more clarifiers on this. Because if it has nothing to do with the relationship and you have this couple here, okay, this is another way to look at it, Sagittarius. It could be that this couple is not your relationship, but their relationship. Okay, so if that's the case, then it's you in the near future. Maybe wanting to continue making amends and have that loving relationship with these people. Which I really want to say it's parents because it just it makes sense here that you have three pages pages can be kids you know or young adults it's just a vibe that I'm getting so if you're showing concern for let's just say another scenario if it's not your relationship it's your parents so to speak and maybe somebody is spying or gossiping about them and um, this page of pentacles that it's um messages of like i said finances or it could be academics so i need more cards on this because it's not really everything else i understand that, that this is not very clear so let's see can you give me more clarification on these pages okay nine of pentacles 
uh, someone comfortable with their surroundings, feeling stable, could be a single person. Please give me more clarification on, okay, on these pages. Okay, so I got two of pentacles juggling a situation and the death card, which could be an ending or a transformation. Okay. Okay, so what I'm seeing now is, okay, so if this is your relationship, uh, excuse me, with these people, right? With these people, if you're concerned, Queen of Wands, about these people, right? And maybe this person is gossiping about them or just being rude and acting like a little shit, you know? Because this could also be a little shit, like child's bad behavior, tantrum, stuff like that. So if somebody's acting like a little shit and maybe you're in a relationship with this person and they're acting like a little shit, you're choosing to just keep your head either in school or work. Okay, because this message may be for a younger person that's still in school and, and lives with their parents. It doesn't have to always be for the adults. You know, everybody watches these videos. So um, if that's the case, maybe your boyfriend or girlfriend isn't getting along with your parents and you don't want to be in between. So you're just like, well, I'm just going to focus on school or work. Okay, and then when I ask for more clarification, it could be that as time goes on, because this is you in the near future, okay, so we don't know how much time, so this, this is going to happen before this, even though it's a clarification, it's going into, okay, well, what about this? Explain that, what's on top of it or what's next, okay? So if you have this person, you're in a relationship that's, not getting along with your parents, let's say, and so you're choosing to, okay, well, I'm just going to focus on school or work, okay, then it's going to eventually bother you to the point where you know you're going to have to make a choice, okay? The two of pentacles is somebody juggling a situation. So here, it could be that you're juggling between this little shit boyfriend and these two people, you know, you're torn because you care about them both or the three, you know. So, okay, you have to juggle the situation. What am I going to do? Because it's, it's not, it, you can't leave it like that. Okay, so you're thinking of ending it. Here's the death card. It's not going to work, so you're thinking of ending it with the Page of Swords. And you're just going to focus on being single and independent because, you know, these are your heart. They're not going anywhere. Okay. These cannot be replaced. This one can. Okay. And that's, that's what I see going on for you. Okay, so let's get, let's get some crystal messages for you, Sagittarius. Okay, what messages did the crystals have for you for this week, Sagittarius? What messages do the crystals have for you this week, Sagittarius? Hi, Wendy. The first one, expanded awareness. What crystal messages do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, one more. Okay. Health. 
healthy body. That's always positive. And sexuality. Okay. So let's see. Where's my book? I don't have these cards memorized. So as a right, expanded awareness. Here we go. Okay. Connects to and enhances your intuition, creating trust to follow your own guidance. Okay, so where you were torn here with the two of pentacles, what do I do? Trust your intuition to follow your own guidance. Expands awareness and allows you to see things from a different perspective, allowing transformation and healing to occur. Okay, that's actually... I love these cards. They just, they connect so beautifully. Okay, so it said transformation. The death card is endings and transformations. Okay. So again, that part says expands awareness and allows you to see things from a different perspective, allowing transformation and healing to occur. So you're not going to be able to let this person go until you're able to see things from a different perspective, which is expanding your awareness to see the big picture of, of what the situation is, okay? To then help you do what you need to do, which is let that person go so that you can be independent and focusing on yourself in the way that you want to be. Okay, this dissolves old belief systems, concepts, and misperceptions. Opens you to vision and insight into your life and others. So that's perfect for you, Sagittarius. Okay, then the next card you have is Agate. Okay, this one's Healthy Body. Restores, grounds, and nurtures the energy field. Brings in all the divine qualities of Mother Earth. Reconnects you to the divine energy flow of the planet. And assists in shamanic journeying to meet the plant and tree divas. So this restores, grounds, and nurtures your energy field. So if you've been out of whack, just like with this tower, and, and you just need to be realigned, so to speak. Okay? This is going to restore, ground, and nurture your energy field. Reconnect you to the divine energy so that this way you can be back into balance. Okay. Then crossoite is the next one. Okay, and this one is sexuality. So this activates the kundalini energy, invokes deep sexual and life force energy, deepens connections to sensuality, enhances tantric union, and assists in expressing creativity. So, obviously you are a very sexual person, and there's nothing wrong with that, but just keep in mind your healthy body, okay? Besides the meanings that I just read to you for this, also, healthy body, be safe, be careful, okay? Have that expanded awareness, don't make you know, drastic, drastic or stupid decisions. Um, but I, I'm feeling the focus of this in assisting and expressing creativity. Okay, so now that you're going to have more time to focus on yourself and being stable within yourself and, and just being in a better mindset and a better spiritual sense of yourself, you can then get in tune with your creativity. So if there's anything creatively that maybe you've felt blocked or you just haven't had the time to focus on, well, now will be the time to do that because since you'll have that extra time for yourself, you can actually focus on that creative part of yourself. Okay? Okay, Sagittarius, I hope this resonates with you. If it hasn't, then maybe the next one will. If not, there's lots of readers on here. I'm sure somebody will resonate with you. And if you enjoyed the reading, please leave a message in the comments below. Peace and love. Namaste. God bless and blessed be. And I will see you in the next reading.